Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's my first look at Meta AI for WhatsApp and the things that you can be able to do with it. So, Meta has just announced a new AI model, Llama 3, across all their products, which include Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. So WhatsApp users who've upgraded to the latest version of the app at the time of filming this is version 2.24.8.81. We'll notice three differences in the new app. Firstly, the interface has been redesigned. Secondly, the app is now very green. And the inclusion of a new chatbot named Meta AI, which can be located at the top where there's a search box on your WhatsApp. Now, as with any technology these days, you have to give up some rights by agreeing to the terms and conditions. In my opinion, this is to be a master stroke from Mark Zuckerberg, who, instead of launching Meta AI separately, has decided to integrate it into his products, which include Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, particularly WhatsApp, where it's used by over a billion people, which means he also has a billion people to try out his AI. The reason why I'm excited about this development is that for the first time, millions of Africans will get to experience AI for the first time. Now, it's not to say that AI is not already available in Africa. I mean, ChatGPT can be accessed from Zimbabwe, but the cost of internet is so restrictive for many people, particularly those that live in rural areas. So in Zimbabwe, for example, mobile networks charge an equivalent of one US dollar for a weekly bundle of WhatsApp. So, if somebody can get access just to that dollar and be able to access uh, WhatsApp with the Meta AI included, I mean, that's a benefit. I've been playing around with Meta AI on WhatsApp just to see a few things that you can do. And I've been able to write essays. I've been able to get recipes. I've been able to even generate images directly from the app. So for those who haven't even started using Meta AI, let me show you some of the things that you'll be able to do on WhatsApp. All right, so here on WhatsApp, make sure that you are running WhatsApp version 2.24.8.85, which is uh, the latest version of WhatsApp at the time of filming this, right? Now, if we go back to the to the chats, uh, there are two ways that you can access the Meta AI, or well, three if you include the chatbot, if it's on your uh, chat list. You can come to the bottom right corner here and just click on this, uh, just click on this blue icon and it will launch straight into the uh, chat bot or you can come to the top of the page where it says ask meta ai or search this was your normal search on whatsapp uh, right here but you're able now to um, ask meta ai now when you click on the search there are a few options here uh, i think uh, since it's still new these are suggestions of the sort of things that you can search for on meta ai right for example, we can just click on uh, maybe poem of the day. Let's just click that. As you can see, it's generating a poem. All right. So there it goes. It's generating a poem. All right. Uh, now, this is the thing that I'm impressed with. That, you know, the sort of things that we used to need Google for. Uh, those in the rural areas straight from their WhatsApp app using just their WhatsApp bundle will be able to search. For example, let's say you're a scholar. Uh, you can even get your essays written using this AI, you just come, uh, search for maybe write uh, and uh, write an essay about soil erosion, right? And just click. And just like that, an essay is being generated. So try to think of the possibilities for scholars even in the rural areas, right? I mean, look at that. You can even take it a step further. You can even get recipes, right? Pick yourself as a man or woman in the rural areas. You only have access to WhatsApp and you want a recipe, right? You can simply just come here. Uh, carrot cake. So carrot cake recipe, right? And just like that, when you click on it, you can see that a carrot cake recipe has been generated, right? Wow, this is actually quite impressive. Now try to think of the possibilities. Yeah, I'm just giving you a few examples. Try to think of the possibilities uh, for people that are in remote areas in the developing parts of Africa, right? You can even take it a step further by even generating images. Let me just click on uh, generate, uh, generate, 
carrot cake image, right? Image, just like that. The AI will automatically generate an image of a carrot cake. Now, why I think this is actually groundbreaking, so there's the image. It's actually groundbreaking because people can actually do this directly from their WhatsApp. Now, I obviously foresee a scenario where maybe data usage on those WhatsApp bundles will probably go high. And this is a call even to maybe mobile networks as well to come up with maybe even uh, bigger WhatsApp bundles, you know, or maybe affordable bundles for the masses. But yeah, there's, there's an image of a carrot cake that has been generated. So. These are some of the things that you'll be able to do with Meta AI. So I'm actually excited about the possibilities of using Meta AI. I mean, sky is the limit. I've just shown you a few things that you are able to do with Meta AI. But uh, yeah, it's a game changer for Africa. What do you guys think? Do you think this technology will come and revolutionize Africa, particularly for those people that are staying in the rural areas? For me, I think it's a game changer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.